New Delhi controlled state investigation agency along with the Indian paramilitary forces continued their house raids and searches in different areas of the occupied Kashmir. According to Kashmir Media Service, the SIA along with the Indian paramilitary and police personnel continued their raids and searches on the third consecutive day today in several areas of Srinagar, Islamabad, Pulwama, Kulgam, Shupyan and Baramulla districts of the territory. As the World Science Day for Peace and Development is observed internationally, Modilat Indian government continues to use technology to surveil political dissenters, opposition leaders and human rights activists in brazen infringement of the privacy rights. A report released by the research section of Kashmir Media Service today said, Modi-led government of India has made laws enabling the authorities to establish new internet rules targeting social media platforms, digital news services and video streaming sites. All parties Hurriyat conference has said that the Kashmir dispute is a reality and asked India to take steps for its resolution according to the United Nations relevant resolutions. According to Kashmir Media Service APHC jail leadership, in their separate statement said India's stubbornness is behind the continued bloodshed, curbs, harassment and gross human rights violations in the occupied Kashmir. An Indian Central Reserve Police Force soldier committed suicide in South Kashmir's Kulgam district on Friday. According to Kashmir Media Service, the Indian soldier shot himself with his service rifle near Jawahar Tunnel in Kazigund area of the district. President of Occupied Kashmir Chapter of the Indian National Congress, Vakar Sulwani, addressing a party workers' meeting of the Kulgam district, said the claims regarding the so-called development and prosperity in Occupied Kashmir is contrary to the ground situation, as the matter of fact is the BJP has pushed the territory towards darkness on every count. Anjuman Okaf of Jamia Masjid Srinagar has informed that for the fifth consecutive week, Friday prayers are not allowed at the Jamia Masjid in Srinagar by the authorities. According to Kashmir Media Service, the Anjuman Okaf in a statement issued in Srinagar denounced the continued illegal house detention of Mirwais Umar Farooq. A seminar organized under the auspices of the youth wing of Jammu and Kashmir, Tehrike Shababul Muslimin today expressed concern over the plight of the illegally detained Hurriyat leaders and activists languishing in different jails of India and the territory. According to Kashmir Media Service, the conference was chaired by the chairman of the Union Council Muzaffarabad, Iqbal Yasin Awan, while the chief guest was the member of the Zakat Council, Amin Bhatt.